going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a very special sneaker, and that's the Medusa Azul Action Bronze and 1906R collab. I'm excited to talk about this sneaker, so let's get right into it. Now, I've said time and time again how much of a fan I am of Action Bronson as a person, as well as his 1906s and his 990s. Any shoe that Action Bronson makes is a very good sneaker, in my opinion. I absolutely love these sneakers, and I'm very excited to finally have this Medusa Azul in this bright blue colorway finally in hand to review. So this was the last sneaker to release out of the three pack. We already got the Rosewaters, the Scorpius, which were a very limited drop, and then we had the Medusa Azuls just dropped on June 21st on specializinginlife.com. Now, both the Rosewater and the Medusa Azuls will be dropping again on July 12th. So that's this Friday, so be ready for those if you didn't get a pair on the first drop. They will be dropping on newbalance.com, probably like a QWIT system. Uh, so be there as soon as you can, probably around 10 a.m. All right, so I wanna just say uh, right off the bat, Action Bronson really listened to the fans and made this drop very fair. If you guys remember the Rosewaters and both 990s that dropped, the, the drops were horrendous. They were terrible. You couldn't get a pair even if you wanted to. I know some people did get the 990s last year, but the Rosewaters might have been the worst sneaker drop I've ever been a part of. It was impossible. They sold out before you could even get to them. They sold out 10 minutes before you could even buy them, which makes no sense, but it happened. Uh, they'll leave that to the bots to, to figure that stuff out. But for this sneaker right here, he really took the time to, to make it even. He did an EQL drop, which is a third party uh, website that runs through bots. It's like a raffle system. So I entered in and I won. I got these for retail. Extremely, 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 extremely happy. Like one of the happiest moments of my life. I remember just getting up, jumping, screaming, so happy. A lot of people did get this shoe for retail and that's how things should be. If you want a sneaker and it's like gonna be a limited drop and you gotta make it as fair as possible and that's what Action Bronson did. So very happy with that. If you got a pair for retail, consider yourself very lucky and let's enjoy that we finally got a pair for retail. Resale prices aren't that bad, but we'll get into that later. All right, so we're just gonna break down the shoe from top to bottom, really go into it and why I love it so much. So to start things off, we'll start with the tongue and the badge of honor. So the badge is the same as the Rosewaters. It just says Baklava 1906 um, and New Balance. It looks really good in my opinion. I really like the way that it stands out a lot and it's different from any other 1906. Now the tongue material is probably the most interesting material I've ever seen on a New Balance. It's absolutely stunning. It's a great looking material. I don't know how durable it's gonna be, but it sure looks pretty awesome. And I really do enjoy uh, the way it looks and how it moves uh, when it gets tighter and looser. It looks great. The tongue itself it is really cool. The laces, they're just purple laces, purple rope laces. I love that Action Bronson uses these rope laces. I think these are great. Um, they look the best. They were in all of his sneakers and they will probably be in all of his sneakers for the future. I just think they look great. The purple ones are pretty dope. They really match this blue really well and tie the shoe together. As far as uh, the technology on the sides, we do get N-Lock, which is standard in any 1906, where it comes from the top to the bottom and it ties the shoe together, using it as a lace holder and tightening your foot to the shoe to make it feel very secure, which I love. And it actually makes up the N itself, which is pretty dope. The N and the, the, the ties on this sneaker are reflective, which I think is the special effect. Action Bronson says there's special effects in each shoe and you would be able to realize it as soon as you put that on. Um, so when I put these on, that was the first thing I noticed is that these four pieces right here are reflective. Going off of reflectives is, again, is the whole shoe is basically reflective. All this, this roping, all this overlays throughout the shoe on the inside, on the outside, it's very reflective and it really stands out when you put the flash on your phone or you have just a light and you shine it in a dark room. It looks really cool and I think that, that gives it a step above the rose waters. The rose waters are nearly not as reflective and th these look really dope when you have that, that bright flash on it. This sneaker is mostly made of mesh. All of this is mesh and it's like the circle mesh but it has blue with tints of purple threads inside of it 
which I think look really good, um, which matches the laces and the shoe itself. It's circle mesh. Sometimes mesh is like, for New Balance, is very woven together. This is circle mesh, as I like to call it, which looks really good. It does seem to be very durable. I, I think this mesh and this overlays are extremely durable. I am gonna put that to the test. I will wear these quite a bit. I do love this sneaker, so it's obviously gonna get worn a lot. But I, I'm curious to see if this mesh is as strong as like a 990s mesh. It does have a nice like suede end logo uh, on the top of the shoe that's in black that matches the mud guard. Now the mud guard, usually New Balance mud guards are suede or leather. This is like a rubber canvas, which I think is going to be very durable and very long lasting. Mud guard probably takes the most beating in my opinion when you wear a sneaker a lot. The mud guard can get damaged very quickly, especially if you're wearing it in the rain, it's the water is gonna get kicked up onto it. So having this canvas rubber, I don't even know what material is. I would say it's like a canvas rubber. Um, it's gonna be super durable and very long lasting, which I'm so down for, I love that. So that's one of my favorite things about this shoe itself is that that mud guard. And then coming around the back, we do have the, the cage of a 1906, 1906 branding, this this heel cage. It's just black with mesh, um, with black mesh undertones, which look great. I like that it's not blue under there. I like that they made the whole heel black. Now, as far as the midsole, we do get this very bold, hyper blue all throughout. And my favorite part about this sneaker is this blue sparkly heel cap. I think this absolutely makes the sneaker and it really gives it that jellyfish feel because the Medusa Azul is a jellyfish. It's like a deadly jellyfish. So having this uh, heel wrap around really adds to that, that feel of it being an actual jellyfish. And it's one of my favorite features on this sneaker itself. You, turn, you come to turn around the inside. It's just this super crazy hyper blue. It looks amazing on foot. Now, like I've said before, the midsole on the 1906R is the same as the 860V2 in the 2002R. So it's a very standard midsole, but it's extremely comfortable. I'd give it between like an 8.5 and an 8 on the comfort rating if a 990V6 and a 991V2 are a 10. This is about an 8 between 8.5. That's a very comfortable shoe. I've worn my Rosewaters every day for the last three, three and a half weeks and I've never had an issue with the comfort. They fit great, they look great. Um, I really do like this midsole and the comfort that it has to offer. The insoles are the same as every other uh, Baklava New Balance collab. It's just a green text with Baklava and New Balance written on the inside. So for the, the outsole itself, it's not as fun as the Rosewaters, um, but it is very interesting. You got this gum outsole paired with this like ice blue toe pad, which I think looks great. You do have this stability web that goes through the middle of the shoe that helps stabilize your foot, which is awesome. The bottom is made up of endurance, and I would assume this outsole is very durable, just like any other pair would be with this outsole. So I do like the outsole and the midsole itself. I think it fits very well with the 1906R. So for the box, you still get the same red box as all the other pairs. It says baklava and then you do get the dust bag which is the orange specializing in life bag and you also get a badge that comes tied on it that looks really cool you can put that on your keychain i know that they're on my keys right now for my rose waters uh, it looks really cool it's the same badge as the tongue so i think that looks great i like that he gives us those like extra little things to make it more like worth our time so like I said, I did hit these for retail, which makes this such a sweet victory. I did get these, it was like 200 for them, plus shipping tax and then the EQL um, fee. It was it was around $200, which was really good. In my opinion, I'm used to paying 350 or 400 for these types of collabs. So to finally get a pair for retail, I never hit shoes for retail. So to finally get that message and a shoe that I wanted so bad, I'm really happy I finally caught it. I've been being... Action Bronson's teased us for these for over a year, and I'm, I'm just so glad I finally have a pair. The quality of the shoe is very good. It's a New Balance, obviously. Is there any craftsmanship issues? No, I've inspected these pretty heavily, and I have not found any craftsmanship issues or quality control issues. It's a pretty solid pair. Nothing to complain about right off the bat. I don't know if that'll happen throughout wear, but for now, these shoes are almost perfect. No glue stains either. My pair turned out pretty good. And I'm very happy with that.
Now comparing these to the Rose Waters and the Medusa Azuls, I really don't know which one I like more. I'm still kind of deciding. I'm gonna wear these a few times. I'm wear testing these right now, so it is kind of probably biased if I say these right now. So I'm gonna wait a little bit to try and make a decision on which ones I like more, but they're both beautiful sneakers and I love them both very much. So I'm very glad that I have both of them and I can wear them and just really enjoy the life of these sneakers because the resale prices aren't that bad. If we're looking at it right now, I got these for retail for 205 ish dollars. The resale prices right now are like 230, which is insane for a New Balance collab, especially Action Bronson. And they're re-releasing on the 12th of July. So there's gonna be opportunities to, to buy these sneakers. So if you want them, go get them. I think this is a sneaker that's very worth having. It's, it's a great shoe to have in your collection. So I would go buy this sneaker if you're on the fence about it or you always wanted an Action Bronson collab. This is probably the cheapest one you'll ever be able to find. So let's go get an on foot look and then we'll come back for the conclusion. I always give shoes a rating from one to 10. And a lot of the shoes I buy, I think are perfect because I, I mean, I bought them for a reason. I'm not gonna buy a shoe that I think is a six out of 10. So this shoe, I'm gonna give it, if I'm giving the Rose Waters a 10 out of 10, I'm gonna give these a 9.9 .9 out of 10. I just really love this sneaker. And I, I do think it's it's a perfect masterpiece of Action Bronson and the way he thinks in his mind. It's very creative, so I'm very glad he displayed that for us on another New Balance silhouette. I'm extremely happy with this shoe and I'm glad that I finally have it. So as soon as this wear test is up with my rose waters, I'm going to be wearing these a lot. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. And let me know what your thoughts are on these shoes. And if you think this is better than the rose waters or just thoughts in general or videos you want to see, I'm always down to hear your guys' suggestions. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.